that was truly able to do everything. Before we had specialists, and then we had George St. Pierre. He truly changed the game. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting, and out of the blue corner, this man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, Daniel D.C. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 26 wins, two losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, George Brush St. Pierre. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Right, so here we are back at the O2 in London, England, and we certainly glorify the Canadians and the Brazilian fight fans, and rightfully so. But when we show up in London, it's a sellout within five minutes of time. Regardless of who's fighting, the English fans show up. They love fights. They're very understanding. They show up every single time. They're knowledgeable. They're ready to cheer. But don't be crazy. They will boo you out of that building. All right, here we go early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA. But length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand Make your skill set match your physical ability. And this guy has done this tremendously. Great punch. Well, we've already got too many Rosendo Sanchez boxing shout outs in the game, there. but certainly your jab is working tonight. Sean. I mean, the jab is working beautifully. Okay, let's go Javier Mendez. There you go. This is a friend to Javier Mendez and the great minds of the AKA legend that have showed me how to use that jab so efficiently. Just over 20 total strikes. And now landed for you, DC. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. St. Pierre gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants uh, that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. Big, straight left. Oh, collar tie. Oh, and now the hip toss in a great position now to go out there. He did a great job of stepping all the way across to get that hip toss. Now look for him to start chasing down a submission. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And, and that's gonna do it. Oh, and there comes the stoppage. Oh! Woo! <laughs> oh, absolutely one for the highlight reel right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent and for him, I should say. But just caught him flush, full force, beautiful extension on the kick. and. The fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 40 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Daniel DC Barnier. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything.